You can't really talk housing market without talking interest rates. Now, listen, I don't know the first thing about interest rates, <laughs> but I know somebody who does. My friend Justin Landis, CEO realtor of the Justin Landis Group. Now, you told us last week interest rates have dropped. Well, if they continue to fall, how do you foresee that affecting the housing market? Yeah, interest rates have fallen, which is great news for buyers. But over the last couple of years, the number of sales has basically mirror the interest rate. So as interest rates have gone up, uh -huh. fewer sales, rates go down, more sales. And so I think it's probably likely that that will continue in the future. So if rates keep falling and we see more sales, that could be more competition from buyers, okay. higher prices, things going quicker. So we're in this nice window where rates have fallen, but they're Oh, there's availability on the market. So if you were thinking about buying earlier in the year and you didn't, man, now could be a real sweet spot to have selection and lower rates before more people come into the market. That's very sage advice. It's like right now, strike while the iron's hot before it gets too hot. Yes. We covered interest rates this week. Make sure you join us next week because Justin's going to explain this new guideline that changes how buyers work with real estate agents. That'll be next week. I'm Kristen from The Burt Show on Q99.7.